we are going to be diving into a topic that is a little bit hard to sometimes wrap your head around in your business. But it is also extremely powerful whenever you do finally wrap your head around it and start to understand what it really means. That is finding your why. Your why is like a compass in your business. It guides you and it directs you and it allows you to build a business that is unique. You as a person and unique to your beliefs and what's important to you. It is one of the topics that early on when I started helping photographers, I really started to understand the value of when I was talking to a photographer and she was just telling me that she was feeling burnt out. She was feeling over it. She just didn't really know why she kept doing this. It just wasn't in her heart anymore. And I asked her what her why was. And she was like, because I want to make money. And I was like, no, what's the deeper meaning? What motivates you to pick up your camera and to keep going that you don't really understand right now in this moment? She was like, I don't know. Like, why do I keep doing this? Why do I keep putting myself through this? Why do I keep fighting so hard for this business? And we started to really dive into this topic and really uncover what was behind her business. And once we did, she became a blubbering, 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 <laughs> puddle of tears. And in that moment when she really broke down, and she finally got it. And she finally wrapped her head around it. It was like everything changed in that moment. And that's when I realized how important and how valuable this topic was. And why it needed to be the cornerstone of what photographers were doing when they started to build their businesses. So I like to use this example here that your why is your compass. Your why is the things that have happened to you in your life, the experiences that you've had, the good, the bad, the ugly, all of those things that create who you are as a person. Your why has nothing to do with your business. Your why has everything to do with who you are as a person, going back to your childhood, going back to everything that has ever happened to you in your life that has put you in the place that you are in today. And all too often, photographers ignore their why. They say, that's too hard. I don't understand it. I don't get it. And if you're listening to this and you think that you know what your why is, I want to tell you that you probably don't quite know what your why is. If thinking about your why doesn't make you want to melt into a giant puddle of tears, then it's not quite there yet. You might have scratched the surface. And if you think that your why is something like, because people won't be here forever, or your animals won't be here forever, because I want to make money, and because I want to provide for my family and take my family on vacation, that's not your why. That is not your why. If you can say any sort of statement that you think that every other photographer on the planet could say, because they won't be here forever and we need to preserve this memory, that's not your why. Why does it matter that we preserve those memories? Why does it matter that we capture that relationship? Why does it matter that you have a family portrait up on your wall? Why does it matter that you have beautiful photographs from your wedding? Why does it matter? What is the feeling and the emotion behind those? What is the real reason those matter? So this whole idea of finding your why, you might be familiar with the books like Find Your Why and Start With Why from Donald Miller. He is the guy that coined a bunch of this and he's very popular for this whole idea of finding your why 
And his books do a great job at explaining really the in-depth version of this. I think in the photography world, your why shapes so many pieces. It shapes the way you connect to your clients from the very first point of contact when you talk to them on the phone on their info call. It starts with the questions that you ask them. It ripples down into the way you dress your clients and style them. And even the way you pose your clients. Your why even impacts the products that you offer and why it's important that your clients end up with those portraits on their wall. Your why is a giant ripple that impacts everything you do in your business. In the marketing world, they say that people don't buy what you do. They buy why you do it. There's a million other photographers out there in this world. There's a million other people that your clients could go to and book a session with. But why do they choose you? They choose you because of your why. Because the feeling, because the emotion they feel when they look at your work, when they read your words on your website, when they talk to you, it's your heart and soul and your why that makes you stand out from the crowd. It's what allows you to coexist with all of these other photographers and to get clients that you love and that light your soul on fire. That's why this is important. Because when you have clients that you don't like and then drain you and make you feel just because they suck, it's probably because they don't align with your why. You know those clients that you show up to their session and you're just like, yes, this is a mess. Everything about this feeds my soul. Their outfits, their personalities, everything about them lights a fire inside of me. And then you have other clients that you show up to their session and you're like, meh, <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> when you hone in on your why, you get less of those meh clients that you don't love and you get more clients that light your soul on fire. So I want to give you a few examples of my why, some coaching clients' whys, and how that's reflected in their business. My why has to do with the fact that I believe that there's a spark of magic inside our ordinary lives. I believe that our horses and the relationship we share with them is magical, and I believe it's like a fairy tale and in that fairy tale it's sometimes hard for us to explain it to other people it's hard for others to get it and to understand what that is and where it's coming from and sometimes it's easy for us to forget in our ordinary everyday lives that there is still that magic there when things are hard or difficult or rough we can forget that there's magic inside of us, that there's magic inside of those relationships, that there's something beautiful there. And if I can create a portrait for my client that encompasses that magical feeling that they feel deep down inside but don't know how to explain, not only does it help everybody else understand why she's that horse crazy girl, when they see those portraits. But also, each and every day when she wakes up and looks at her wall, she's able to feel that magic, that little spark, that little sparkle that's inside that maybe she's lost. The magic that's there that all too often is easy to ignore because life gets busy and crazy. That's what my why is about. And as a business coach, I help Hang on.
And as a business coach, something that is extremely important to me and that is valuable to me because of my why is to help each and every one of you find that magic, that sparkle, that something that is unique and different and amazing about you and your business that your clients are going to see and love and adore you because there's that little sparkle inside of you. And to also remind you that even when your business is tough and life is hard, that you can get back to that place, that you can run that business that brings you joy and feeds your soul. And a big part of that with my coaching clients is finding your why. Finding your why is everything in that. Let me share with you a few other stories of your why and my coaching clients' whys and how that can differ between people based on their stories. I'll pick on Jamie for a second. Jamie is one of my coaching clients. She's amazing. She is a rock star. (laughs) I say that because it's the word that comes to mind when I think about Jamie and her story and everything she's been through. But Jamie is about helping our clients celebrate who they are uniquely when the world looks at them and says, you're a black sheep. You're not cool. You don't fit in. You don't conform to standards. You're different. You're weird. Jamie is all about that. Her brand screams, hey, you know what? Be cool. Have tattoos. Have colorful hair. Be the black sheep of your family. It's cool. I got you. I understand you. And you know what? I celebrate you. And Jamie celebrates those people. And her clients are absolutely amazing. And you see her clients coming to her that look different, that dress different, that have tattoos, that do all of the things that society says. That's not cool. And she celebrates her clients and how unique they are and how special they are and all of those things and the life that they've been through that's gotten them to the place they're in today. And it's really cool when I hear her tell stories about clients that reach out to her. I think she told a story about a grandfather that reached out to her and booked a session for his granddaughter. And he was like, she's different. She's unique. And you know what? I knew that you would understand. I knew that you would get her. So that's why we're booking the session with you, because I know that you're the one person that can understand my granddaughter and who she really is as a person. That's cool. It's not just about her pictures. Her pictures are beautiful but it's about the why. I think another example of finding your why is I have a coaching client and she horses are a bit of getting to be a a little girl. It's the place where you truly just get to be the little girl that you are deep down inside at heart still, even when you're grown up. And the reason that's important to her is because she was forced to grow up really quickly in life. She was forced to just grow up and deal with reality and be an adult when she was young. But when she was at the barn, she could be that little girl. And so for someone like me, because I believe in that magic and that magical spark and that fairy tale, I'm going to put my clients in a dress in the middle of a field that sparkles. And I'm going to have these poses that are fairy tale like and twirling and giggling and skipping and whatever it may be that brings out that fairy tale. For Jamie, Jamie might have her clients in a black leather jacket or a tank top showing off their tattoos or a pair of knee high leather boots. Because that's what they want to wear and what they want to rock when the world tells them it's not cool. Right? And Jamie might pose them like they're a rock star. These strong, confident, bad women poses. I'm not going to say the word. She might pose them as these strong and confident women. And showcase their uniqueness. Showcase their crazy hair. Showcase their tattoos. Showcase their piercings or whatever it may be that makes them different and unique physically in her posing. Whereas somebody who their why is based on the fact that 
you know, that being with their horse or whatever, their dog, is the one place they can truly be a little girl, the little girl that's deep down inside of them that's been forced to hide because they had to grow up. It doesn't make sense to wear a dress with sparkles. It doesn't make sense to wear a leather jacket and to dress like a rock star. It makes sense to wear a pair of cut-off jeans and a t-shirt and to hop on their pony bareback and just run around the field. Maybe your why is rooted in the fact that your, and I know I'm talking about a lot of animals today. <laughs> Maybe your why is rooted in the fact that the barn or with your horse is the one place you find peace and calm because your life is a roller coaster and it feels like a tornado around you but when you go to the barn there's that peace and that has always been there for you in your life maybe when you pose your clients your posing is just calm and serene and just there's something that brings that calm and that peace over you when you look at your portrait and your clients that feel the same way when they see those portraits and they feel that calm and that peace and that serenity they're gonna say i need that that's what i want versus the people that feel the magical fairy tale are going to come to me and the people that want to embrace their inner child and just wear a t-shirt and cut off jeans and go gallop around on their pony bareback you go to someone else and that's okay that's the value in your why that's the value in finding your why and really understanding it in order to stay true to yourself you have to have some type of compass in your business and i genuinely believe that this is your compass each and everything you do in your business every decision you make you need to check in with your compass and you need to say does this stay true to my why? Does this lead me in the direction that my compass is telling me I need to go in? Does this feel good? Does this feel unique? Your why is the deeper meaning behind what you do. And it's what differentiates you from everyone else. Now, all of these things are so incredibly important. And yes, they do relate to your photography business. But as you go on this journey to find your why, I don't want you to think about photography. I want you to think about all of the life experiences, all of the things you've been through that have nothing to do with photography. And think about how that shaped the person you are today, how that's made an impact in your life. And I want you to dig into these things and ask yourself, why do these things matter? Why is it important? until you cry <laughs> and my coaching clients have this big joke and they always warn people that eventually corinda will make them cry and sometimes it scares people but the reason why is because this conversation about finding your why is one of the biggest things i talk about my coaching talk with my coaching clients about on their one-on-one -on -one calls because it's hard to do on your own. Sometimes you need somebody to poke the bear, so to say, to ask you the hard questions that you don't want to deal with. To say, why does it matter that you have this? Why does this matter? Why does that matter? And then when you get down to that place where you're just like, I don't really want to answer that because it hurts. Or because it's painful. Or because it brings back memories. You're probably getting really close to the place you need to be to find your why. To find that deeper meaning. To get down to the root of what's important to you. And this applies against across everything in your life. Right? Not just your business. It applies to everything. And what I want to say is that your why might transform. It might change slightly over time but it will always be rooted in the same thing. So you're probably not going to wake up one day and it completely changes 180 degrees, but it might shift a little bit as things happen to you. Recently, I had a coaching client that lost her heart animal. And 
I said, this is the time that you really need to look at your why because your why is transforming right now. This was a really difficult situation, but your why is transforming right now as you go through this experience. And honestly, it's going to impact your business. But right now when you're in the heat of it and you feel the things, don't be afraid to feel those things and to put them into words and to share them and to share your journey and your story because people connect with that. They understand it. But it's also going to shape your why. It's going to hone your why in a not a different direction, but it's going to help you narrow down on your why because it's a life experience that's changed you. And that is why this is such an important thing to really just keep an eye on it. I'll tell you, for some of you, your why might come pretty easily. Or you might think it came easily. You might listen to this and be like, I know exactly what my why is after this. But I'm going to tell you that it's probably not going to be easy for most of you. It could take years. It could take months to come up with your why. And it could take months to get there. And then it might take years to really understand and be able to put it into words my why is so deeply rooted into my life and the things that have happened to me and honestly I shared a really transparent vulnerable post the other day that was about what I had going on in my life and what was happening and why things were changing for me and the facts that as hard as it is to say this year has been difficult this year has been really difficult been filled with a lot of loss it's been filled with a lot of sickness. It's been filled with just a lot of changes. And in those changes, I feel like a bit of my sparkle, a bit of my magic that I lean on, that I love, that I believe in is inside of all of us. I feel like I've lost a bit of it. And that's a hard thing to say. It's a really hard thing to say because it's everything that my business is based on is that sparkle and that magic that's inside of all of us. Hello, I have purple hair. <laughs> Y'all might not know this if you're listening to my cast, but I have purple hair. It's fun. It's magical. I don't know. I think it's a fun thing to do. It's not because I'm rebellious. It's just because I think it's fun and magical and it makes people smile when they see my purple hair and it makes little kids light up, especially little girls. I love little girls when they light up and they're like, look, mommy, she looks like a unicorn. But it's really about that magic. And to know that is so important to me, but to feel like I've lost a bit of it has been hard for me. But I've also been able to share that journey and that story with my clients. And to explain to them why it's important to me, that magic is there, that sparkle is there, that feeling is there, why it's important that you celebrate it and you capture it and that you have those portraits to feel and to celebrate that magic because when you lose it, you can get there that much faster and bring And it's almost a way of sharing your story with your client through your marketing and your conversations and what you do without actually saying here's my story like jamie doesn't even ever have to come out and be like hey i have tattoos and i have bright red hair and sometimes i've been the black sheep in life she doesn't have to say that but she can instead say i celebrate you for who you are i bring that out inside of you with your portrait I tell you to screw society and to dress however the heck you want to dress, to show off your tattoos and your quirky hair or whatever it may be. I celebrate you. And she can say that to people without having to say, here's my story. So this is a whole nother layer to this, but it makes your business about your clients and their story and their journey But you also get to share your story and your journey without saying it's about me. You get to ask your clients, hey, what's your story? What's your journey been like? And you can share your clients' stories and their journeys 
And then it's not just about you, it's about your clients. And then you attract more people that are like that. But all of this is rooted in your why and you have to know and understand it to get the right stories from people and to attract the right people. I could go, <laughs> this is another topic that I could go on and on about, clearly because I love it so much, but also because I think that it's something that is so valuable for each and every one of you to have, but also because I understand that it can be a hard topic to understand and to really get a grasp on. So I would absolutely love it if you would send me a DM on our Instagram or on Facebook or Master Your Mind Money on Instagram. And tell me, has this changed your opinion on your why? Has this helped you realize that maybe there is something deeper? There is something ooey and gooey inside of you that just makes you want to cry. That is what drives you to do this. What is it? And how do you put that into words? And if you're interested in joining us in our coaching program, guys, we have an entire section in our coaching program dedicated to finding your why. And oftentimes my coaching clients choose to use one of their one-on-one -on -one calls with me to find their why because it is so valuable and so important. It changes everything. And when I watch my coaching clients find it and just get it, it just makes me so excited. Like it is the coolest thing in the world because it does change everything. It allows you to get rid of the stuff that doesn't fit you. And it also helps you not be a cookie cutter. If you've taken business advice from people that are like, do this and charge this and all of these things because I said so, you can take your why and then you can start to make those things your own, which is super important, guys. Cookie cutter business advice sucks. It's not good for anybody. I don't ever want to be the person that sits here and says, everybody needs to do the same thing. Everybody should charge this for this size print because of this. No, it's going to be different for each and every person. Every one of you who listens to this, every single one of my coaching clients, their 8 by 10 might be priced slightly differently. I will never tell everybody they need to price everything the same because I said, you have to do stuff that feels good for you. You have to do stuff that fits your why. You have to do stuff that you understand and can believe in and feel good about in your business, guys. But this why is an integral part of that. And once you find it, I want you to take your business and I want you to break it down to the ground level. And I want you to look at every piece of it and say, is my why reflected in this? Is my story told in this without me having to tell my story? Is this allowing me to connect to the right people? Is this showing the message I want to show to the world, whether it's in your marketing or your photos in your posing and the way your clients are dressing? How is that reflected there? And if it's not, then it means you have some work to do. I am so excited to hear how this episode changes your way of thinking about your why and helps you find that deeper meaning, especially in this season where I know so many of you can feel burnt out or overwhelmed with the holiday season and clients that are demanding and wanting those photos back for their Christmas cards. I know it gets really bad this time of year. And I would absolutely love to hear how this impacts you and also to how you can start to reflect these things in your business so make sure you head over and send us a dm or post in our facebook group and share with us a photography business tune up and share with us how this has impacted the way you think about your business and the way you're running your business